Terrifying Yellowstone's restless heart. Hydrothermal eruptions raise questions about the supervolcano's future. Run, run, run. Yellowstone's Restless Heart Hydrothermal eruptions raise questions about the supervolcano's future. For the second time in less than a year, Yellowstone National Park, one of the most closely watched volcanic systems on Earth, has stirred again. In July 2024, a massive hydrothermal explosion blasted rock boiling water and steam into the air at Black Diamond Pool and Biscuit Basin. Then, in May 2025, the same location erupted again. A smaller but still impressive burst captured by park webcams. These back-to-back -back events have reignited global curiosity and anxiety. Are these explosions random thermal outbursts? Or could they be whispers from a long dormant giant deep beneath Yellowstone's crust? What actually happened beneath Yellowstone? According to the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, both eruptions were hydrothermal, not volcanic. No magma rose to the surface. Instead, groundwater trapped in fractures and heated by the park's immense underground heat source suddenly flashed into steam. The rapid expansion shattered rock and blasted open vents in a violent, geyser-like explosion. The July 2024 event was the most powerful hydrothermal explosion at Biscuit Basin in decades. Geologists estimate the plume reached up to 180 meters high, scattering mud and rock over a wide radius. Months later, the May 2025 event produced a smaller eruption from the same pool, a reminder that the system had not yet fully settled. Hydrothermal explosions like these are not rare in Yellowstone, but two in such quick succession at the same spot have scientists watching closely. Hydrothermal systems are like pressure cookers, explains Dr. Michael Poland, the YVO scientist in charge. They're sealed beneath layers of rock and sediment. If pressure builds faster than it can vent through geysers or fumaroles, an explosion is inevitable. But that doesn't mean magma is moving. It means the system is doing what it always does, releasing heat. The breathing ground of Yellowstone Every year, the ground beneath Yellowstone rises and falls, as if the Earth itself were breathing. Since detailed satellite monitoring began, scientists have measured uplift and subsidence cycles of several centimeters per year. After the hydrothermal explosions, USGS GPS data showed a brief phase of uplift in mid-2024, followed by a return to subsidence through late 2025. This pattern, scientists say, reflects normal geothermal processes rather than magma buildup. Seasonal effects, groundwater recharge, and hydrothermal circulation can all make the ground shift slightly. In October 2025, USGS announced that the caldera was actually sinking again, the opposite of what would happen if fresh magma were pushing upward. Still, such movements keep the world on edge. Every small rise, every pulse in Yellowstone's crust is closely studied by geodesists and volcanologists using satellite radar, laser reflectors, and high-precision GPS stations perched across the caldera. Ground deformation is one of the first clues of magmatic unrest, says Poland. 
But right now, all indicators are consistent with long-term patterns. Nothing outside the ordinary. The Earthquake Swarms That Never Sleep Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active regions in the United States. Every year, it records 1,500 to 2,500 small earthquakes, most too weak to be felt. In September and October 2025, several earthquake swarms rattled areas near Norris Geyser Basin and the Northwest Caldera Rim. The strongest was a magnitude 3.7, noticeable to instruments, but minor in geologic terms. About half of Yellowstone's earthquakes occur in swarms. Clusters of dozens or hundreds of small quakes happening over days or weeks. They result from water and gas moving through cracks, not necessarily from magma migration. In most volcanoes, a long, intense earthquake swarm can mean magma is on the move, explains USGS geophysicist Jamie Farrell. But in Yellowstone, swarms are part of the background hum. They're like the heartbeat of the system. The latest swarms, combined with hydrothermal explosions, paint a picture of a living, breathing geothermal machine rather than a sleeping giant awakening. New Discoveries Beneath the Caldera In early 2025, scientists from the University of Utah and the USGS used artificial micro-earthquakes and advanced imaging techniques to map Yellowstone's crust in unprecedented detail. What they found surprised everyone. A magma cap. A thick layer of solidified rock and semi-molten material sitting atop the deeper magma reservoir. This magma cap acts like a pressure lid, preventing molten material from easily rising to the surface. In effect, it stabilizes the caldera. The discovery of the magma cap helps explain why we haven't seen a major eruption in hundreds of thousands of years, says Dr. Fanchi Lin, lead author of the study. It's like a thermal shield that releases heat gradually. Through geysers and hot springs, instead of catastrophic eruptions. This finding reassures scientists that the supervolcano isn't preparing to explode, even as the hydrothermal system continues its dramatic displays 